Lesson 5.1, identify and draw triangles of a given type. Um, so there's two different ways that we classify triangles. First way is by the side lengths. Um, there's three words you need to know, scalene, isosceles, and equilateral. Scalene is if there are no congruent sides, meaning all three sides are different lengths. Sometimes they'll have the measurements. Sometimes you'll see the tick marks, which means these sides are not the same. Then we have isosceles. In those kind of triangles, two of the three sides are the same length, and sometimes they'll have the little tick marks on those two sides. And then last, we have an equilateral, which means that each side or all three sides are equal or congruent in length. <clears throat> then by angles, we have an acute triangle. All three of the angles will be less than 90 degrees. And then in a right triangle, you'll just have the one right angle. And then in obtuse, you'll have one obtuse angle which means greater than 90 degrees. So really you can kind of look at just what the biggest angle is out of the three. And if that's acute, then it's an acute triangle. If it's a 90, then it's right. And if it is um, an obtuse angle, then it's an obtuse triangle. So we'll just try three problems real quick. You should have two words for each of these triangles. And number one, I look at the sides. I have 6.61, 7.42, and 5.63. Those are all different, so that would be a scalene. And then I'm going to look for the biggest angle, which is the 74 degrees. That's still less than 90, so it would be acute. A cute little angle. Number two, I see 6.96, 4.92, and 4.92. These are the same, so that makes it an isosceles. It's always fun seeing kids try to spell isosceles. And I look at the biggest angle, which happens to be a 90, so this is a right isosceles right triangle. And number three, we have three different side lengths. That makes it scalene. And our biggest angle is this 100 degrees, which would be obtuse. So I did not include an equilateral, but let's just kind of talk about that for a minute. You have now constructed those in the last unit. Think about if every side's the same, every angle will also be the same. So if there's 180 degrees in a triangle, divided by three angles, each angle will be 60 degrees. So that's something to kind of note too.